Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, Proton, it's getting people banned, but turns out it's your own damn fault. And Humble doesn't have one, but two fantastic bundles. And speaking of Proton, yeah. Shocking news. This is something, something has occurred that has never happened before in the history of gaming. Valve has delayed a game, and Lutris has a new release. Make sure to run it as root. Valve goes to the land down under to hunt some dollary dues, and AMD is dropping 32-bit drivers. Not that anyone was running a Vega 64 on that old a processor, right? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Old Man Ven, you know me, you love me. Hey, that is one Jordan Sfang, and that, 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 that was Pedro's weird voice that he does at the intros of the I... shows. It <laughs> makes my fucking skin crawl, and I love it. Um, joining you live here at LGC Actual. Um, Jordan's up in Canada land. It's getting cold up there. And Pedro, that's, that's legit. on the island, time just came back a little bit for you, buddy. Oh, yeah, a whole hour. Mm. It's, it's, it's a little wibbly-wobbly over there. Mm-hmm. Tell me why me. Oh, man. Uh, have you guys that's been tomorrow. up to anything? Anything fun? I mean, I'm 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 aging as we speak. Um, no, I've just been oh, just I've, you? Just, okay. Just, <laughs> just, 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 just me. Yeah, no. I, I Canadians have this thing where like they only like they age collectively a year in the span of a day. Now, I've been I've been playing more Pathfinder Kingmaker, regretting my choices and like safe scumming to like several hours previous to be like, no, I I see where I see where my error lies. Time to replay this fucking part of the game. Um, and that's that's it. What? Watch yeah, Castlevania. No. That, that was that was fun. Yeah, that was all right. Uh, over here, I got a package from uh, the Giggity. US. Yeah, uh, Mister Mir PPC or Patrick, as you may know him, decided. You know what? Drop it. <laughs> I said, stick once, it up your butt. Like, yeah, I kind of want a DSLR camera. I want to play around with one. And Patrick's like, Oh yeah, no, I got like a ton of them. I can send you one. It's like, okay, seventy five dollars later. Here it is. It's a an EOS 300D Canon. It's a, it's really nice, actually. <laughs> you know, you, you know, you could probably have gotten like a much newer, better camera for like that. No, 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 uh, no you couldn't. I, <laughs> no? I I checked on eBay no. UK. They those cameras are quite expensive. Uh, some in great condition were going as high as thirty pounds. Uh, no, they were going for 130 pounds. <laughs> 30 pounds. <laughs> uh, what, what about you, you, Ven? I hear you uh, You have uh, started going to movies late at late night with your folks or something? No, I, I'm such a Batman. Yeah, sounds about right. Same thing. Oh, fuck all. I've been playing the hell out of that game. I've never played a Batman game, and it was in, we're going to be talking about the Humbles and the Bundles, and... Out of curiosity, I was like, well, shit, that was part of the bundle. Might as well try it. Click play on Proton. And, I mean, it was not officially a supported game. It's uh, Arkham Origins. Which is, the, which is game three, I think. Yeah. Probably. I have, Again, I, I know nothing about mm. that business. This, this was genuine. I was like, oh, let's just see if it runs three fucking hours. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it runs pretty good. Um, better put this shit down. Fun game. Well, I- I, I I remember when uh, when Arkham Knight first got quote unquote announced for Linux, uh-huh. like you got you got mm-hmm. super excited about that too. Oh hell yeah! Like, uh, it's a it's a WB game again. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's if you played Shadow Horde or, or Mad Max, it's, it's that shit with a different skin pack. I mean, the exact same sandbox mechanic. And uh, outside of that, I had to track down had a fan gremlin, that wonderful <laughs> wonderful lovely screeching sound of like like, god damn it please everyone's first thought immediate thought don't be the cpu cooler don't be the psu fan for fuck's sake please (laughs) um be a case fan get lucky nope uh -uh, wasn't it was the fan that never cuts on on my 980 so yeah gonna have to replace that that's the thing (laughs) anyway we never have to replace the fans on the horse because it's so damn cool. Also, also, it's just dead because it's a dead horse. It's the Steam Linux update. Oh my god, this could start a really disturbing tre- precedent if Valve just keeps delaying games endlessly. Wait, Valve is making games? 
No. <laughs> Too fucking <laughs> shape, Pedro. Good. Good on you. Well, well done. Valve has well been done. making well games done. since 1990, whatever, <laughs> and now now they've delayed another one for the first time in the history of it. No, this is um this is from uh, Rock Paper Shotgun. Uh, there there was supposed to be an artifact beta that was supposed to um that was supposed to come out uh early in november to be in time for the december release now they're saying uh the artifact beta will be pushed back to november 19th which to me seems um kind of strange because that's like not enough time to run an open beta if you're if you want to catch bugs which is kind of the point of that of course this is valve right so i mean it's it's valve time don't be surprised if we don't see the full game until like december 2020 no man. Yeah, I, no. I think a lot of people had Pedro's reactions like, "Wait, what? Well, game? Huh?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and even you know, back in the day, you know, 2012, uh, when they were releasing games, they were consistently delaying them. And I mean, if you want to bring back old jokes, we're still waiting on episode three. <laughs> so. Oh. <I> <laughs> Oh, 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 okay. So the last game that Valve released was, I think it was Dota 2, and that was 2013. So it's been okay, about five years. Okay, 2013. <laughs> the, the early beta came out in 2012, but whatever. <laughs> I, it, yeah. it, it doesn't matter. It's a reskin of Warcraft anyways. Hey, it's the yeah. it's a card game. Um, ultimately, mm. it's, like, it's a card game. Okay. I mean, I'll try it. I'll play it. It'll probably support Vulcan. And I will still give negative fucks. Nothing against it, just not my jam. Eh, well, uh, maybe it will be someone's jam, although our one, well, one of our uh, tame Canadian, uh, not Canadians, Australians. How, uh, you, you see what the time change has done to this poor boy? Yes. We it need scrambled to his brain! He, he can't think straight, it has nothing yes, to do with the copious our, amounts of alcohol uh, he's been consuming. Uh, as one of our table Australians said in the show notes, yay, I guess, uh, it's the Australian dollar. It's coming to Steam. And um, as the uh, little slideshow that they have in that picture that uh, Connor Nelson posted, uh, it says that uh, the uh, conversion won't be like all regional pricing. It is based on the purchasing power, not a strict currency conversion. Which means that you're probably still going to be at the mercy of whatever the developers can uh, get away with, but it may be a way for Valve to actually keep a tighter leash on those developers to not let them swing, you know, the price either too high or too low. Well, and, uh, so, so, yeah. so we, 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 we talked about this two weeks ago where developers aren't going to be charging anything because they're going to be relying on Valve's fucky auto uh native currency adjuster thing they can slice set off 60%. the price themselves they're, they're not they're not going to pedro let's be real they're, but they're not going I, I, to, I, no, I, I mean we we, we we can rejoice in the fact that now australians can spend obscene amounts of money on software in their native currency mm -hmm. um but yeah like um but to 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 that point i do i do wonder like what kind of effect this will have on the uh, on the automated pricing stuff that we covered a couple weeks ago, at least specifically in Australia, considering what what the what the what the fuck is purchasing power? What the hell is buying power? What what is, how, how is that actually quantified? Valve. I don't know. It's I think one of the things like um, income. Foxy probably summed it up. It's like, man, it's been so long. Who the fuck cares at this point? It's like we we already think in USD. Yeah, mm. it's I, several I, I get, years I get, too late, but it's a good. Things. It's coming in mid-November, so now you'll speak, just, speak, everything will Mr. just Fox look Dog. more expensive. Yes. I see him fucking moving his curse around in the show notes. <laughs> your, your game doesn't work anymore. Um, but <laughs> I think his game just worked <laughs> perfectly. He's like, yeah, I, I made him I, talk I, about me on this show. I mean, we were already <laughs> talking about him, so whatever. Valve Index, what is it? Well, apparently Valve is trying to figure out what your computer's power level is. They filed for, this is a, this is a thread from Reddit. Uh, the links to all this is in the show notes. So they, fi they filed a couple patents or, uh, tra or trademarks for computer hardware, software, networking hardware, computer peripherals, computer hardware, and software for the reproduction, processing, and streaming of audio, video, data, text, and multimedia content. What this actually means, we don't know. There's, I, I read, I read through all the applications, and there's not really much to go on. So it's probably still under review or being submitted under NDA. 
that said, the Reddit thread uh, seems uh, seems to be spinning the wheel of booga booga, and they've landed on uh, performance index for machines, possibly for um, a new wave of Steam machines, as in like Valve presents the Windows Experience Score or whatever. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's uh my guess is uh they're pushing out like a streaming thing and maybe an updated controller that would be nice like steam controller 2 eh. <laughs> this time it actually attaches the aerialist to your nips <laughs> it's you control it by actually twerking your nipples <laughs> it's, it's harder than you think at the end of the um, day what i really gotta look at with this is there I, they're not going to make any serious hardware because Alienware, um, Dell, anybody who made a Steam machine, they got fucked. Oh yeah, they no, got they burnt fucked those bridges hard because they made the hardware and Valve valved basically. Like what Steam? We never heard what you you expect us to maintain commitment to a project and not fuck off and do something else? <laughs> Oops, we're Valve. <laughs> Didn't you know? Um, I, I, I what mean, I can they, see they, them making is. A streaming console, maybe in conjunction with like Google, hopefully not Microsoft, but I could see like Google's uh, stream play, which I'm still dicking around with. I mean, it's got a long ways to go before I would even think about considering that, but maybe a um, video media attainment type device, you know, a small Man. console, completely diskless, no hard drive, you know, maybe 128 meg, 128 gigs of flash storage and something like that. Maybe, um, I, I I don't I don't know. It, it's it seems like Valve could still like go to you know vendors like Nvidia or AMD and like make mass mass produce their own Steam box. It seems very unlike mm -hmm. unlikely yeah. for them, but it's I, I I threw out the theory a while ago that maybe they'd come up with like some sort of like VR appliance, which I still think is feasible. Uh, given I don't VR is dead. It's, it's 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 all it's all about the streaming now. That's the new hotness. Well, here's Game the thing, streaming. man. Like e even. <laughs> Facebook is like, we're championing VR and pushing it out. And like, yeah, the uh, Oculus 2. Yeah, fuck that noise. We're not going to make that. Um, yeah, no. The Car momentum that board. VR got, and it did get a little bit of momentum, it's completely died down. It, it's just not there anymore. No. It, a, it's got to get wicked cheap. B, people don't like looking like they're getting faced fucked by a toaster, as I've mm -hmm. said numerous times. See, we're going to. It's getting into the prototype stage with for the HTC Vive with the wireless. But mm -hmm. the only thing I've seen from that was like, hey, guess who just got a new uh, the wireless for HTC Vive? It was on Reddit, and it was a picture of a girl's arm in a cast. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, spe speaking of, speaking of Valve projects, one might get you uh, kicked out of your favorite fighting game. Hey. Oh yes. That's the thing, man. Danger Proton. It's been updated because they kind of fixed it. If you were paying attention earlier this week, there was a post in the Steam forum saying, hey man, Soul Calibur 6, it's causing serious problems for Linux gamers. What happened is even if you first started in Windows, but if you launched it with Proton, tried to connect online, it told you to die in a fire. Even when you went back to your Windows partition, which you shouldn't have, you filthy Windows dual boot <laughs> even, it would still tell you to eat a bag of dicks, basically. Mm -hmm. And hey, look, Thanks for heads up on Twitter, Linux Gamecast. Something I did is in Forbes. Ha ha. <laughs> fuck you, reality. Um, well, fuck, well, fuck you, Strider. You're not the only one in Forbes now. So, Plagman writes back, uh, what is it? Pierre Lupe. Pierre Lupe. Yeah, that yeah. one. Pierre, Pierre Lupe Guru, yeah. <laughs> He's like, hey, man, it, it was a bug in Proton, caused the Steam client to upload corrupt entities to the back end, giggity. And it affected all the accounts. They're aware of it. They're going to unfuck set accounts and everything's going to be kosher nice and apparently mm. it was a network thing so all the conjecture that everyone was throwing around oh it's the anti-cheat oh it's a and you know i would i would have totally bought that it was the anti-cheat thing because the way that wine works with games what it's doing in the back taking calls and literally feeding the system something else and then taking the calls from the system and translating that yeah, no, it, it that's well, but, but, that's not kosher. Wait, so you mean like but, but the, Devo but the, is like ring ring? Who's this? And it's like it's wine. And it's like well, and and, and 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 I mean that's the thing. This is this is sort of like the risk with the special sauce that they're doing in Proton because this yep. specifically had to do with the Steamworks integration for the online leaderboard, I believe. So that 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 basic that basically boiled down to it. It's not necessarily a wine problem. It's when Valve tries to inject their black magic. Sometimes 
things kind of break. It definitely does. Yeah. When I saw this, uh, my first thought was like, oh, look, laughs in Diablo. Because <laughs> this is not the first time uh, people have gotten no. fucked running wine yeah. playing Windows games. Networked one. Uh, uh, but to finish that is I did not you kind of deserved it. But you're a brave hero for deserving it because people need to try this shit. And just keep that in mind. Anything that you're going to be joining that's going to be authenticating to anything, you, you, shit like this is going to happen. This is not going to be the first and last time. This you know, this has all happened and, before, and it will happen again. And and yeah. the, the the one the, the one thing to notice too is that if it was a problem with the, the anti cheat, the uh, the fact that your game would probably get unfucked would be very unlikely. If mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. if Namkai Bando is all like, "Yo, man, you you still tried to cheat, so I'm not going to let you play your Soul Calibers anymore." Okay. At least at, at least because this is a proton bug, um, like Valve takes responsibility and people can play the game again eventually. I got some yeah. aluminium hat theory for you. What if it really was an issue with this, but Valve's like motherfuckers we are trying to push this proton shit <laughs> pissing on our parade go unfuck this now Maybe. Uh, yeah, i yeah, think yeah. the uh like the bad press from you know having yourself uh featured by jason on forbes saying yo you done goofed that uh got blizzard to pull their heads out of their ass pretty damn quickly the last time that it happened so i'm guessing that if bad Eye was responsible here they would have gone oh oops that was a mistake on our part sorry about that mm -hmm. well either yeah. way you might be able to get about 350 off uh your purchase soul caliber 6 in the coming weeks i guess sale yeah so the uh halloween autumn thing sale is coming and uh well they're actually both coming uh, the, um, first one is the Halloween sale, which is, uh, it hasn't started yet over here, but it will start in a couple of days or tomorrow. And, uh, the, um, what am I missing? I'm missing a thing. Wait, where am I? I'm in the wrong place in the notes. There we go. Uh, <laughs> sober, ladies and gentlemen, totally <laughs> rock sober. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the autumn sale is uh, only starting in uh, November 21st, which is a bit later on. And then, of course, the winter sale starts on December 20th. So if you're looking forward to playing all the new porny visual novels and acid flips that have been coming out on Linux lately, or say if you want to indulge your inner heathen and buy that game that you want to play with Proton... Yeah, I guess now's the time to do it. I, I mean, uh, Ven, Ven and I were talking about this on Friday. We're hoping uh, Shadow Warrior Two goes on sale for dirt cheap, so we can pick that up. Because apparently, the um, we we got we got to confirm it, but multiplayer on the GOG copy may require Galaxy. Uh, I think mm -hmm. that's definitely one hundred percent the case on that nonsense. Yeah. But I gotta be honest, man. It's like the last two or three sales, even Steam, and I was actively looking to give them some money, but mm -hmm. I was like, I'm sorry, man. 60% off, it, it, it doesn't make me open up my wallet. Like, it's, yeah, it's, no. it's, it's diminishing returns because every sale you go pick up one or two games that you want, and by the end of it, and after like five or six iterations, it turns out you already own most of the stuff that you want, or you're, or you're just waiting for sh other shit to get cheaper. So you're still going to yeah. keep waiting. So that, that, that's, sort of the, that's sort of the curse of the Steam sale. We got some, we got some uh, new game updates we got to talk about. Times um, four. Yeah, uh, Death Road to Canada. That game, uh, that game we threw chairs at once upon a time. That totally is not an accurate Canada simulator. Uh, is that a zombie? <laughs> no. Um, no, they um, they are coming up with an update uh, for four player uh, four player couch co op. Uh, this is going to be on a testing branch. Uh, it's going to be available to all the platforms. You can they give you instructions on how to select the thing. Here's the thing, though, Brad. This would be better if you had like online co-op because you can't pl you could you can't really play it online with friends because everyone in Canada is dead and I don't have people I can come and sit down and play <laughs> have you seen Canada the with. online <laughs> internet connectivity in Canada <laughs> yes yes me, I have me too I, I understand this on this very show uh <laughs> Online connectivity. No, I, I know we bitch incessantly about this, but mm. for good reason. Even if I'm going to be playing multiplayer with my flatmate, roommate, uh, person, you know, person who's broken into my house and he's in the other room, but he brought his laptop and he's like, fuck, you want to get a game in? I'm like, yeah, why not? Since you're here. It is easier to connect online than it is through a fucking home network. 
Mm-hmm. Not, 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 not even that. It's easier to get people who want to play the game online than it is say, "Hey, come over to my house." No, totally not. But what I'm saying is, under you. any fucking possible circumstance, having that built in is better than just local only. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. yeah. Objectively. Yeah, the, 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 this isn't the, ga- the the days of the Nintendo 64 where you're like, oh man, this has four controller ports. We can jam out and play some Mario Party because we had ample free time and no responsibilities. Now we're adults and we have ample free time and no responsibilities, <laughs> but we don't want to go outside. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, yeah, make that online. That that would be a fun fucking game to play online. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Plus, I, I'd like to spend time and make my own little mini empty and we never get to use them. Uh, team mm-hmm. Team Fortress Two mod this this angered uh, and confused Pedro. Yes, yes, it did. So, uh, Team Fortress Two Thousand and Eight. It was a mod, and I say was because it's no longer there. In fact, by the time that in between Ven uh, or Jordan uh, posting this in the show notes and me actually clicking the link, the Steam page had disappeared. And it, not only did the Steam page disappear, if you went to the uh, mod developer's uh, Steam... Uh, no, no. What's that, Pedro? Really? I think time caught up to him. Oh, man. It killed Pedro. Anyway, yeah. It yeah. died. Yeah, it, it, it died, all right. Um, yeah, so, the, I mean, it's 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 a mod that's supposed to replicate... Or, or not replicate. Re, or, repli- I'm a replicant, man. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta blade run me. There no, um, it's supposed to replicate the... Um, <laughs> the uh, gameplay from uh, TF2 when it was originally released back in 2008. And, I mean, like, we've seen this with uh, Vanilla WoW. People just, like, playing games as originally presented. Maybe without 50 billion hats. I don't know. Was TF2 always a hat game? I seem to remember it not constantly being one, at least in the early days. Um, but, yeah, no, uh, there, there's a bit of a cr- uh, kerfuffle. It was taken down from the Steam page. It got moved to a... Yes, yes, Pedro. Flourish. Flourish. <laughs> no, I was just getting rid of the Pedro uh, was resetting on my frames. video. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, no, I, I I like to pretend he's trying to Vogue. I like to pretend we're doing a fucking show. Uh, here's the thing. I wouldn't know the difference. Uh, I played like for two seconds when TF2 was announced for lunch. I was like, hey, it runs. Yay. You got, you got the penguin? I got the penguin thing. And thus concludes my story. <laughs> the, <Yeah>. the end. <laughs> no, it, it was just... The way that it disappeared and the website showing like, oh, account suspended. What the hell's going on here? Uh, turns out that Valve said, yeah, no, you're not actually doing anything to the leaked code you're about to post on Steam because that's what they were doing. They were posting the leaked version of TF2 back onto Steam. And they weren't really changing anything. They weren't doing anything transformative enough. And Valve said, yeah, no, we're having none of that. Bye. <laughs> hey man, they, they, Valve could pull a blizzard and be like, what do you mean you're enjoying yourself playing classic WoW? We're going to re-release that for money. Oh, that's 100% what they're going to do eventually, obviously. Yeah. That's, it's that's, Valve, that's they're not play. organized to do stuff like that, man. No, I mean, somebody will think about it, but they'll like walk off and get stuck in a corner and forget about it, and it'll never happen. <laughs> I would like... Uh, that would be an option. It was interesting to read like the Reddit threads of like people who were like, I get up in the morning and that's all I fucking do until I go to bed is play TF2. And they're like, well, they made these micro just pages and pages of shit. Fun read, but apparently like the original version, like the characters, there was like misbalances and shit like that. I don't know. Oh yeah. I I, I grew up playing Quake World on dial up and it should have been good enough for everyone. All right. Well, at least you at least you didn't have to look at poorly rendered CG boobs. I guess you did. You're playing Tomb Raider. Anyways, um the the one new game we have this week uh is General Practitioner, a um from Brunei Multimedia, which I mean, if you if you if you if you look at the the screenshots there, well some some of them I I think I've literally seen like some really poor CG porn made out of those those very same models. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and apparently you can get up to sexy shenanigans there's a there's a deep engaging story uh as you uh <laughs> apparently i don't i don't know this is just like doctor doctor there's a problem with my vagina here let me take a look <laughs> you're, 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 you're gonna have to convince me that it, there, there's more to this game than that but there, there isn't 
<laughs> oh, oh, fuck no. Uh-uh. There, there's no way in the world. Uh, it's like a GP simulator, a, a structure GP simulator. Mm. I only brought it's this a... up because it genuinely, I was like, oh, I got a little notification on the uh, Twitter button. It's like, there's a new Steam game out for Linux. And I was like, motherfucker, you got to log in to even look at this hotness. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, oh, oh I? yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't even let you like just go through the regular edge gate. It's like, no, nope, this is porn. You gotta, you gotta have an account that lists you as over here. Pretty much. I mean, listen. Yeah. There's a lot of screenshots that I'm like, whoop. Uh-uh, I'm not showing that. Uh, yeah, most of them. Most uh, of them. It's yeah. No, this is like that game, House Party. Except House Party at least tried to have the pretense of being something else other than you know a porn game. This one doesn't. This is the equivalent I mean, I mean, of trying too hard to inject <laughs> a plot into a porn movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and it, it's funny you say that because I find a lot of like the porn parody is the stuff hew a lot closer to the source material than the actual movies themselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there, there, there you go. Porn cares more about plot than Hollywood. Uh, All right. <laughs> let's see. What is it? it early access, 1799. Oh, yeah. yeah, and it's you gotta pay for that porn. General so, 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 practitioner. Is so what, 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 what you're saying is that they've they've gone and done a premature release with their porno game. Look, whoa, they're just like straight up going at it in that screenshot. <laughs> oh, they yeah, came too yeah, soon. yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm glad that wasn't on this. Screen. Now, now, stay it. tuned after we unzip our pants and take care of some things. Coming up next, uh, we're going to talk Mostly about some humble bundles. warts. <laughs> Digital venereal warts. Scorch or, or, marks. Or, 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 just got a new release. Humble bundles are happening. And Google has a project, or Intel has a project. Your so project. Very, I, I am a project, all right. You all need right. to work on me. Well, I think it's time we slow down just a little while to think. Sounded like you said just a little while, man. That's not for Saturday. Uh, in any case, <laughs> it's a uh, Shat Realm Appreciation Hour, and you lot keep making this possible. You make the Wednesday show possible. You make just about everything we do all that much easier by contributing your hard earned money for. Well, Bull- us, bullshit. Really? Bullshit. I mean, <laughs> Lies. and, and, and if, if you if you want to compound this ever-growing pile of bullshit that stinks to high heaven and low ass hell, you can head on over to uh, Linux Gamecast. Yeah, <laughs> LinuxGamecast.com. Yeah. Wait, wait, like, wait. All right. <laughs> Linux, li- well, if, listen, I, we've I, talked I, about the I, Linux Gamecast. Watch that mute button, motherfucker. Because um, <laughs> th- this is a talk we've been needing to have for a while. I, I want to explain it to Jordan. How Pedro fucking up English is contagious. It is infectious. <laughs> Isn't it, Jordan? Yeah, sure. Blame it on me. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, sure. He, he never stopped, did he? <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> um, yeah, so head on over to linuxgamecast.com. Click that support button. Follow one of the various links there. That will take you to a place where you can either buy some stuff and give us money or just directly give us some money. Um, hell, if you go to if you click on the humble link, which you probably should, considering the next two stories we're about to talk about, uh, you can you can help us out any any Jordan, way you can. Uh, Jordan, you can... Jordan, I don't know, man. Um, sounds like you're just asking for money. Do I get anything back in return? Well, you you might you, you get the sense of satisfaction that you helped us out. Oh and fuck that's that! Not... I need something slightly more tangible. <laughs> well, then you should probably head on over to patreoncom gamecast where you actually do get some value for value. Um, become becoming a member gets you access to uh, Discord, get some early show note access, so you can sort of watch the show congeal as it occurs. <laughs> yeah, thirty three hundred and thirty Patreon only posts. That's that's a lot of content. There there's some cool stuff in there like uh, our doctor our uh, Doctor Who Game of Thrones. A uh, show called, you know, Game Game of Who. That that's what we called it because we're so creative. Uh, <laughs> you, you can get access to some uncut vods three days early. You can even buy your way onto the damn stream when you know. Well, when I when I or Vin play video games on uh, Thursday and Friday respectively. Wouldn't it be really neat? Like if we had like an extra show every week. The you know, hey man, I like listening to the show. If I if I could just like throw it in my podcatcher and get an extra hour of content every week. Why don't Why, why don't we start doing that? I, I mean, if, if 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 we want, if we if we get to five thousand dollars in Patreon, maybe maybe we'll talk for an hour. And hey, record. by the way, we have an extra hour of content for patrons every week with a custom RSS feed <laughs> that you can put into a <laughs> podcast and get it. It's called the Pre Pre Super Shows, and it's our production meeting that where we do talk about like 
we eventually get around to talking about stuff that we're working on with the show, ideas and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. if you back us at a death note and above, we also get access to our show notes and you can correct us before we fuck up and get something mm-hmm. incorrect. You can also join in. I think, uh, who, who we have system T Scott, Jill and, and uh, atomic. You can tune in live and chat with us as we're going over shit and looking at pumpkins. Indeed, or Sailor Moon. Scott's pumpkins. <laughs> this is true. It um, is but, terrifying. But yeah, uh, this week we finally smashed a goal. We we finally killed off Portal 2 co-op. We're done with that. Woo! Yeah. Uh, we, we, got, we got some people we got to thank uh, this no, week. No, you can't gloss over that, Pedro. Did, did you see us finish? No, no, I haven't watched it yet. It's You're on my to me, watch Pedro, later, fuck so off. it's Pretend tomorrow. I didn't ask you that. Um, <laughs> right. yeah, no, uh, I took a look, and... <laughs> mm-hmm. I've really only played Portal 2 to test it to see if it worked. And so I'd say plus or minus 45 minutes, minus 45 mm-hmm. minutes, 19 hours. Seems legit. Yeah. Over two years. <laughs> yeah. So I, I actually someone should someone should tally up like the actual YouTube numbers and see what that is, because a lot of that is just us dicking around in like the main menu, setting up the stream and whatnot. Uh, but anyways, we got some people we got to thank. All right. Dirty Deans, Dun Dirt Cheap and uh, Vertnog. Um, are awesome, awesome people who gave us some support. Two brand new patrons. Wait. Yeah. Oh, they're, oh man. We're going to have to tell the world and put their names in the show. Credits. Oh, no. It's almost as if you become a Patreon. <laughs> or maybe if you send us some hardware and through our Amazon wish list, you can get on uh, Frank's fuckwall. That's the thing, too. The, that sounds like a crazy idea. <laughs> um, I, I actually know a little fact about Dirty Dean. Is, is he not done dirt cheap? No, man. He can telepathically... Communicate with waffle irons. That's oh, awesome. I thought you were going to say that it was secretly a really clean person. Listen, I, I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> now I just want waffles. Dirty Dean, get on that. Give me some waffles. <laughs> Everyone's beautiful. Uh, Thanks for making this possible. All right, yes. let's do it. Spe- speaking of speaking of shilling, you should pro- you should totally click on our affiliate link for hum- humble before checking these links out. Hunger so what Hung- I mean, listen, we're hungry. We need we need money for food. Hunger bundle. For, yes. For lettuce. <laughs> I, I mean, and Warner Brothers isn't hungry. This is the Humble WB Classics bundle. It's got about nine days left on it. You can, at, well, at the time we're recording anyways, you can pick up uh, for a buck Shadow of Hodor and uh, Batman Arkham Origins, which Fen has been playing through fairly painlessly on the Protons. And if you pay more than four fifteen, you can get access to uh, Bastion, Bad Max, uh, Injustice, if you can get that running in Proton, and a Disney game, which makes no sense considering this is a Warner Brothers bundle. <laughs> Published by Warner Brothers, anyway, for the video game. <laughs> for, for for the video game. I still, I still don't understand how that works. That hurts my brain. It is kind of fun. A uh, bunch of stuff. I mean, you probably already have Shadow Hordor, uh, Mad Max. Both of those or oh shit, I got about 30 to 60 hours I need to kill. Both of those will absolutely get the job done. Yeah. And I took the Pepsi challenge with the goddamn Batman, the first one, Arkham Origins, because it was like, part, and it was like, okay, I'll try this. Mm-hmm. Uh, out of the box, 100% on 1804 LTS with the latest beta of Proton. Click play. That's your thing right there. It's DX11, so it immediately kicks over to Vulcan. And at 1080p with everything on YOLO with a dash of swag. I maybe could get it to drop to 70 occasionally. Maybe, but right. normally it's about 130, 140. Uh, it, it, stable. No crashes. The only time it's crashed is when I rage quit. Alt F4 gets <clears throat> shit done in that game right to desktop. Uh, th- if, you're, if you're brave, though, and you feel like paying 12 bucks, you can try getting Arkham Knight. You know, that game was that was supposed to run natively on Linux, running via mm-hmm. Proton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you can finally play Arkham Knight on Linux without having to use Lutris. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> All right. But you know, sp- speaking speaking of the humble, we got we got more shit to talk about. Hey man, this is like a big long commercial. No, uh, they just released this today? Question mark. Mm-hmm. I think yeah, I think it was today. Yep. 111 worth of awesome stuff. What do we get in here? We got a couple of things. I was like, okay, well, fuck. Have some more money, Humble. Uh, the full throttle remastered, which I remember playing as a damn child on DOS. Early uh, minutes, T. Hotline Miami 2. I was like, man, I've had that forever. But Yuka fucking Lele. Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why am I interested in this? Because I've been like, my, we were talking in the pre-pre super shows and, uh, you know, 3D platforming, early day PS2, stuff like that. I skipped over it. I was already in PC gaming. 
This was a remake of one of those types of games. It's like, okay, I might kind of be interested. And I always would go to the Steam page and like, give us 30 bucks for the nostalgia. Yeah. I'm like, if I don't have this nostalgia and you're not getting 30 bucks. So for like, what? It's that B. Gru from the Minions movies. I'm confused. Six dollars, 12 cents. You can try it out. And I think I'm going to give this a try just to see if I like it. I mean, it kind of mm-hmm. got mixed reviews. It's a Unity gem. Oh, Hyperlight Drifter that Pedro yep. is totally going to finish playing once he can uh, play it at 60 frames per second. That patch is coming any day. Uh, the yes. patch already came. Oh. Uh, and I, uh, I did stream it. I streamed it for a whole of three or four episodes until I hit a point in the game where it kept crashing. Because it didn't do that at first, and then I hit a certain point, and it just started happening a lot. That's when I stopped. I actually need, need to go back to see if they fixed it. Maybe you need a new video card and a 32-bit processor. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You can't be an AMD, though, because NVIDIA has already kicked those drivers, and AMD has now decided, you know what? We might as well do the same. He pulled it out of his ass. I, I didn't think he was going to get it, Jordan. <laughs> yeah, he, I, 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 I set it up. He, he fumbled, but he, he finally got it. Oh, man, I, I had already pulled in the shit talking. I was getting ready to unload it, but nope, last minute. Like, <laughs> yeah, All no, right, it's, let's uh, stop it. AMD is uh, dropping the 32-bit driver development. Uh, so if you have a 32-bit processor and are using a 32-bit operating system in 2018 for some reason, let's hope you're not intentionally buying a Vega 56 or a Vega 64 and plan to use 32-bit drivers with those because that's not going to work anymore. Well, so here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. I think this more. No, well, no, number one, uh, if you want, want to actually own a 32 bit CPU that's like relatively modern, you have to go back to like Pentium 4 or something. Because uh, yeah. I think mm-hmm. Core 2, when they started introducing the dual core stuff, that was that was like all 64 bit native. Um, yeah. But anyways, uh, on, if you're if you're on Windows, too bad for you. If you're on Linux, I mean, Mesa got your back, man. Mesa will support all that shit forever. And you can just pull out the if they they remove it from the mainline branch, you can always pull it from the long live drivers. Well, Mesa will support it forever, but Linux distros are also dropping thirty two bit left and right. So you can still virtualize. Yeah, yeah. Vir- Pass through. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like here, 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 here's here's the thing though. Like I'm I am a hundred percent sure that someone has some need out there for a thirty two bit system because some shit he's using or they're using is written in like assembly or it's just not portable to 64 bit for whatever. But do you reason. really care about AMD drivers at that point? No. Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 I, my, my whole point is that this is a moot point. I'm coming up. I'm trying to come up with like fucked up situations where this would be useful. <laughs> uh, I think ultimately what everyone's saying is like, and I mean, NVIDIA yeah. dropped 32 bit support. And I know, there's, there's somebody out there who's like, but I just bought a Vega 64 for a system that probably, I guess. Yes, probably, for my Pentium 4. <laughs> my uh, Gen 1 PCI Express. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, buy four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let it go, mm-hmm. man. Let it go. Lutris. Yeah, it's got, it's got a new version out. Uh, v- version 421. Strider has finished smoking all of his weed, and now he had to increase the version number. Um, this comes with a couple fixes. There's an e-sync toggle. Um, I, I was talking to him about this. I, I didn't know this, but apparently Proton has its own app ID, uh, and mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Lutris had to blacklist it so that it wasn't showing up as Racist. a game that you owed. I don't know. Um, there, it'll respect your Wine virtual desktop uh uh, configuration. It'll try to use your system wine before trying to install its own wine. There's some DXVK issues. You can, you know, directly talk to Strider at uh, Strycore on Twitter just to file all your bug reports. Don't actually use the Git bug tracker. No one actually checks no. that. <laughs> um, no, uh, though appar- apparently uh, there, there's a thing that stops Lutris from running as root, and he added a little comment that I feel obligated to read because he's a <laughs> Patreon. He says, take a moment to appreciate how I had nothing to do with the feature. And he gives a get humbling because oh, apparently wait, someone... Wait, it, what... Oh, I thought Strider was in Discord. What? Oh, sure. Sure. No. I thought he. No. Connected, I thought I was in the audio room. Oh, I, 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 I know. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a very good impression. Wow. All right. Leary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this... Uh, I had nothing to do with it. Strider, this is one of the problems, buddy. Somebody's like trying to give you some props or some credit. It's like, no. Just be like, hey, man. I didn't do it. Uh, 
more. By the way, <laughs> a little more talk. Like somebody else helped with this, and I, I don't know. H- has it fixed a couple of things? Like, can it, can I get it an app image now or a flat pack? Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> maybe maybe for four twenty two, I have like a I don't know, have a snap of Lutris. Uh, could could it like? So when when I launched this new version, will like automatically scan my system and ask me to log into Steam and just give me all that stuff on the front page without me having to click around through a bunch of bull, like cryptic bullshit? No, it, it will install Keylogger though. So when you eventually do that, it'll get all your passwords. Oh, cool! All right, <laughs> uh, GitHub.com forward slash Lutris. You know we love it. It's a great project, and Strider's been working. He's going to be putting a lot of extra work into it. So keep a lookout for that. Uh, mm-hmm. It's yeah. a better love story than. Try for mm. the angry penguin asked Linux supported because uh, Trine wrote back. Unfortunately, this is not planned at the moment. I'm like, what the hell is this all about? Ta da! Trine for <gasps> the Nightmare Prince official announcement coming soon. I have nightmares about Prince sometimes. Um, you know, the- Frozen Bite in the past with Trine one, Trine two, and Trine three point one. Uh, and, and Shadwin. And Shadwin. And Shadwin, yes. None of which support UHD um, because of reasons. <laughs> and they, they've had Linux support. But we learned uh, earlier this year, uh, the one person that did Linux, they're like, peace out. And mm-hmm. they're doing their own custom engine. And so we're probably going to be playing this with Proton, maybe? Yeah, we're trying and again they, in Proton. <laughs> And then, then it crashes. We, we have <laughs> that, that, that. a Patreon a commitment to, we have to play this. Uh, I'm a little... Yeah, if it comes out, we have to play it. <laughs> if it works with Proton, uh, they're going to have some yeah. copies, which they will. But uh, I am still a little grumpy because of what they did with Trine 3. Releasing it, you know, regularly priced what Trine 1 or Trine 2 costs. It was like 25 mm-hmm. bucks or whatever. And then you just kind of, it stops. And you're like, what, what's, what's going on? Why is this game like eight, eight minutes long? And they're like, oh, well, it's episodic, but we didn't tell anyone that. And, <laughs> ha, ha. and we never made the other episodes. <laughs> yeah, they also did that. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm just grumpy that Trine 3 was just complete dog shit. It was just a bad it game. It was broken. It was, the game was fundamentally broken. It was, you would end it, up like three cursors on screen at any point. Yes, but it... <laughs> I think we had a great time with it simply because it was broken to the part of that genuinely came more interesting. Trying to get through the levels with the three people yeah, was yeah. more interesting than the gameplay ever could possibly yeah. have offered. How, how, how do you replicate that glitch to get up there? Because the thing didn't trigger. How I mean, to, yeah. <laughs> Pedro was literally wall hacking to get through levels. And, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. and let's be like, honest, no, trying to wall now. Trying there we go. was not that much better. <laughs> I, I like yeah, trying, no, trying to had its moments. Oh, I'm talking it, about it, technically. <laughs> the yeah, technical yeah, side, yeah, yeah with yeah. like random glitching out. Yeah, trying through absolute technical glitch show. Um, mm-hmm. to the point where it was, I thought, more entertaining because I felt <laughs> a certain sense of accomplishment once the three of us got through that. And I was like, ha. It, it's like it's like <laughs> it's the same sort of accomplishment you get for like plating Superman 64. It's like, I did it, but why? Mm. <laughs> Don't whine about it. Well, let's whine about it, because it, there's a new version of it. It's uh, Wine 319. Uh, th- I, th- I guess the major thing with this one would be the fact that they have better support for 32-bit.net binaries on 64-bit, which means that if you have... Yeah, no, I saw the project. Okay, I was thing. about to say, speaking Fuckers. of shit that never came out for Linux twice. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, with the 32-bit.net thing, basically what this does is let older games that were built with like .NET 2.0 that was only 32-bit. Mm-hmm. Now you can install .NET 2.0 in Wine on a 64-bit prefix and play those games. Hopefully. It's still going to be a crapshoot. So in, in, in relation to that previous story, you can now throw out your 32-bit CPU and upgrade for, those, <laughs> for all those .NET 3.5 32-bit apps that you've been <laughs> holding onto that system for. Hey, man. <laughs> Uh, the more the merrier, because uh, Valve, Valve's Proton's doing a good job at stridering, you know, the wine developments and getting that packed yeah. into Steam and giving me that play button. Well, they're 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 funding uh, Code Weavers, right? Who which directly fund wine. So yeah, but the way I said it was more entertaining. 
Yeah, less accurate, but more entertaining. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, that, that is one of our like founding... the, the, the LGC mantra. Less right. accurate, more entertaining. More entertaining. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, OBS, Intel and Streamlabs partnered to create a dedicated live streaming hardware. And why are you talking about this? Well, it's Streamlabs, you know, might know them from this little piece of software that we're using right now called Open Broadcasting Studio. God damn. All right. I'm going to talk some shit to Venture Beat. <laughs> Videos, really? Eat mm-hmm. a bag of dicks. I've already closed one. This is the second one. Fuck it's you. Just Walmart. showing up. <laughs> not not sponsored by Walmart, but Walmart. You They're thinking about throwing this in a nook. Uh, it's going to be like a Core i5, pre-built, ready to go. Plug it in, and you can stream. Uh, good idea. Yeah. Bad idea. Expensive I, idea. It's a well, good so, idea, but it's going. Uh, yeah, something about paying the nook tax doesn't sit well with it me. Doesn't stop. There's a god go. Yeah. No. There's another one. Uh, <laughs> Yo, well, the, the, and they, they stack the articles on here too. This is just a very poorly designed side venture. Beat go fuck yourself. Yeah, uh, and, but like uh, I do see the appeal that the you know having a dedicated streaming box. Absolutely, that's that's a thing you should have if you are a streamer. You should just have your own separate thing that does the streaming and then a PC for playing the game or whatever it is you're streaming. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I don't want to pay the Intel tax for it. But, so so here, here here's here's the thing though you can get it for as low as twenty nine dollars a month via Simply Nux device as a service program and that just made by Skin Crawl oh my god mm-hmm. you're you're gonna be you're gonna be renting streaming hardware which I mean I guess isn't new you can rent TriCasters and shit but that's a TriCaster that gets you a lot of cool stuff <laughs> you can so rent I, a I'm, Nook I, I mean here here's the thing like a cheap if as envisioned if they came up with like a compute stick form factor or whatever a cheap optimized for task stream box isn't an awful idea and hell it even lets you stream portal 2 under linux if that's your jam but um i don't don't know like um just just a just a thought reading through this an interesting riff on the idea might be to like integrate it into the router itself maybe Mm -hmm. make like a beefier router that can do Uh, that then you get functionality as a service directly on the thing that's providing your internet yeah yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying put the hardware as a service thing in your router. Your ISP already does that for whatever fucking stupid reason. You gotta look at but, the, yeah. um, I, I agree with you with a lot of this, but you also got to realize that, you know, I, I thought people who leased cars were batshit insane, but if they have the same program and I've had it explained to me, I just buy cars because I'm cheap and I buy used cars. Um, the whole leasing idea, I'm like, yeah, I get traded up like every four fucking years, I get a new model. And if you got a streaming rig and you don't want to have to deal with like staying with the latest and greatest and you can justify 40 bucks a month and not have to worry with it. Oh, look, streaming rig died. All right, put it in a box, ship me another one next day. And they have something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also if you're a console gamer and like, I don't know how to computer and they got like stream button, mm-hmm. you know, that, it's like the, plug uh, this into your TV and your console into this. There it's for console gamers, so it'd have to be like the menu and idiocracy at the hospital. You know, it'd like and, and, a big and, twitch button and the game button, and it goes. And 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 before people people start reing, like the 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 built-in console streaming functionality mm-hmm. will cut out cinematics, will cut out like a ton of stuff that they don't want actually published on YouTube. Yeah. So some, something like this is absolutely better. I don't, I don't know if they can get the cost down, if they could ditch the fucking device as a service thing, or at least make it a little more compelling. I can, mm-hmm. I can see them making a case for this. And, you know, maybe, 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 maybe we're going to get some like dedicated a six for it that are not, that are just like, eventually it's not a full computer. It's just a device that is like purpose built for taking input, encoding it as RTMP, and then just shitting it to wherever you can. We're going to have some middling solutions for a while. I mean, ultimately you're just going to be restreaming the stream of the game that you're playing in the first place. Mm-hmm. Pedro, mm-hmm. Um, ballpark, how much did your uh, Ryzen 5 build cost? Motherboard, CPU, RAM. Uh, with uh, just the parts, mm-hmm. uh, 450 something pounds. All right. And would you say comfortably that you can pretty much play anything and stream anything on that box? Play, yes, stream, not so much. 
It's got, uh, yeah, it's a quad core eight thread. You could possibly stream something that's not using the CPU all that much, but you, then you again- You could stream like Don't Starve or something, or- um... Yeah, something a little lighter on resources, but yeah, you could definitely stream something from there and play while I'm, playing it uh, native. Let me rephrase that, Pedro, your desktop, not your damn Frankenstein computer. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, yeah, with the uh, Ryzen um, 5 I really thought I was talking about that little bullshit science project of his. L yes. l listen, <laughs> listen, man, Frank Frankenstein was Frankenstein was the doctor and not the computer that he built. You hear that Frank? He's talking shit about you. <laughs> oh, is, is, Frank, oh, is Frank's last name Frank now? Is Frank's last name Stein? I didn't know that. <laughs> But yeah, no, I didn't, with the I didn't, I didn't know he was Jewish. You can easily play games and stream at the same time. Hell, the processor, even with most games nowadays with Vulcan, the processor, while streaming, rarely gets above 60% on any of the threads. Okay, so, now minus, let, let's do the 1080 delete mod. How much money <laughs> do you have tied up in that? Uh, Let's see. Almost a thousand pounds, actually. Okay, that's a lot exactly. of SSDs. He clearly and... overpaid because I don't have a thousand dollars in this box. Yeah, no, there's a lot of SSDs and a lot of um Okay. <laughs> Jesus RAM. Fuck, Pedro. How much was the motherboard and processor in the RAM? Uh five hundred and twenty pounds ish. <laughs> Uh, that took forever. I, I was I, just I gonna say, I, 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 I have one, th I have one thing in here that's worth more than a thousand dollars. So I, I, I'm completely checked out of this conversation. Um, but anyway, I, I, I think we've stretched this about as long as we can. Pedro, Pedro needs some more happy juice. Coming up next, yes, yes I do. We are going to take a deep, in-depth look at agriculture and why growing lettuce is the most profitable thing in the world. Check it out. This is the final edition of our spooktacular Spooptober Chairquisition series. This is where we take a game, we rate it on a pass-fail basis for if it launches, if it performs at 1080, graphics, graphical fidelity or glitches, and controls, and then we rate it on a scale from one to four chairs to tell you how much fun or lack thereof we had with it. This week we're taking a look at Farm Together. Oh my god, it's horrible! horrible. Look at all that. <laughs> look at all those colors and sunlight and plants. We I hate it. truly I hate it. saved the most <laughs> terrifying game for last. I, I just shit yes. my pants. Any, anyways, um, it's developed by Milkstone Studios on Unity. Milkstone did send us some keys for that, so thanks a lot. You can pick it up for about 20 uh, USD. What is it? Grow your farm, your own farm by yourself, or cooperate with your with your friends in this unique, relaxing farming <laughs> experience. I'm not, I'm not relaxing at all. This thing's stressing me out, You're man. So terrified, you can barely read the description. I know, like I, it's it's scary. So, uh, I mean, how frightening is it on Ubuntu, then? Hey, man, I, I tried that on Spook Ubuntu 18.04 LTS dot whatever the fuck it is this week. Does it run? Yeah, it does, man. Uh, Ryzen 1700 for this juggernaut of a fucking game. Uh, 16 gigajoules of RAM, NVMe, all that fun stuff. Powered by 980 that is slowly dying, as we learned in the pre-pre-super shows. And, um, it launches if you like having seizures. Because I like to joke around. I was like, oh, this game will give somebody a seizure. This motherfucker will take a person out. Mm -hmm. I mean, wow. I was kind of impressed. I was like, what is this custom engine? No, it's just Unity. And I get a little upset with you, Milkstone. Just a little bit, because you're like, it's a version of Unity that caused this. I got a lot of games on this particular build of Unity. It is not a problem with Unity. Anyway, if you put in some cryptic moon spooky... We gotta keep that theme up throughout this to excuse me for playing this. Um, <laughs> but that it'll be in the show notes with everything else. If you want to pick it up and try it, you can get it to launch, then you can set it, and everything will work fine. So... Nah, I'm going to have to give it a fail on the launch. Performance, 60 at 1080. That's what it was set at. I didn't bother with V-Sync because, fuck it, come on, look at it. Um, not saying it looks bad because let's talk about the graphics. It looks like a really, really well done mobile game. And what what are you doing to that tractor? <laughs> trying, trying to pop wheelies, it looks like. <laughs> Guess. Succeeding? Uh, <laughs> If you're going to control it uh, out of the box with the keyboard and gerbil, I didn't try it with anything else because uh, that's kind of what this is uh, made for. So, yeah, outside of, you know, launching, uh, everything else was fine. But 
Yeah, that, 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 that's that's not a good way to start. How was it on Fedora? On Spoop Dora, Spoopy twenty eight. Um, uh, with the i seven sixty seven hundred K and the Spooky GTX ten eighty Ti. Um, yeah, launch wise, yeah, we got to do the aforementioned Force GL Core forty two Force Clamp D CLI option if you want the game to you know run. Um, performance wise, um, at first it was a little chuggy. I was petrified, but then it smoothed out. Uh, a ten eighty. <laughs> I didn't bother playing this at UHD because I don't feel this game really deserves it. Because look at it, it looks like something made in two thousand and six. Um, yeah, uh, gra graphics wise, yeah, it looks like something made in two thousand and six. <laughs> uh, controls, uh, it's a Unity game, so I picked up the uh, DualShock. Uh, gave me Xbox prompts, but everything worked with the controller. I didn't actually think to try it with the keyboard. I plugged in my controller and everything worked. So I will give it three out of four for Fedora. What, yeah, what about over Spooky Solus? On Solus with the Ryzen 5 1600 and the uh, GTX 1080, it, um, yeah, no, it, it doesn't launch. It just doesn't. It's a seizure-tastic blurry screen that, uh, yeah, you need those uh, Force Clamp GL, Force GL Core 42, and you can set your uh, screen resolution. That'll actually save you from having to set it in the options menu later on. But uh, yeah, don't worry, that'll be, uh, the show notes will have the necessary stuff. The performance at 1080, it peaks at, it peaks at around 120-ish, with um, most of the gameplay, it generally holds around 100. At 3840 by 2160, the FURPS count is about half, with dips into the 40s. So yeah, you might want to keep it to 1080. The graphics... It has anti-aliasing, depth of field, and motion blur as far as the advanced options go. And to Milkstone's credit, they work properly. I still disabled motion blur because it still looks like absolute ass. Controls, yeah, no, even on the lowest point in the um, mouse sensitivity slider, it uh, it's a little too fast for my liking, but you can rebind everything. And uh, you don't really need pinpoint accuracy for farm together, so it gets a pass. Or uh, three chairs. <laughs> All right. Well, looks like it sucks equally to set command line options, regardless of your distro. Um, mm -hmm. Fun wise, Ben, did you did you have fun, or were you just completely terrified? So terrifying. Look at it. It has everything that I'm afraid of: tractors, Pigs. skies, um, chickens, ponytails. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, uh, baby, check it out it for me like right out of the box it clicked and it's like this is a hurry up and wait simulator because i lack the genuine absolute fuck out of whatever it is that causes people to get sucked into these little time vampires i'm talking games like in just the genre like farmville candy crush and the like and that's kind of why i'm unable to recommend farm together since it's air quotes that game you know, I, I gave it the business. I gave it like straight up hours. Like maybe this is going to be the game that changes my mind about this entire genre of click on things and wait for stuff. But at the end of the day, it's the same formula, kids. Um, you're going to do work. You're going to make money. Then you're going to buy useless shite to show off to your friends and your farm and too real. Oh my God. Uh, a little close to home. Nothing made me step, take a step back. Strip naked and prance about screeching Eureka. Now I get this entire genre of things. I'm going to go buy them all. That didn't happen. Um, <laughs> however, on the flip side of this terribly look at how spooky it is. We got to keep up this thing. Um, it's well done. It is a genuinely well done work. Make money buy useless shy to show off to your friend simulator uh, for fun. I just going to give it a one. Because this isn't my jam, and this is not against Milkstone in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It comes in at 19.99 wet, stinky American caches. It's got multiplayer. It's got coop. It's got online queue up. But if you're the type that has looked at like Farmville and stuff of that genre, I mean, this is a well done 3D customize all this bullshit and buy tractors and make them jump. Even with the online aspect and all this business thrown in, this isn't going to change your mind. It's just not. Peace out. Yeah, like I've been playing this game, put put about like an hour, 45 minutes into it, and I'm farming the shit out of some lettuce. Like I got that level six lettuce life. I'm feeling good about myself. So so playing this, it, it took me a couple of minutes, but I finally narrowed down the feeling I get while playing this game. 
I'm one of those people who like hates having unread notifications for like emails or instant messages or shit like that. So the second it pops up, I want to make that go away. That is this game. I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta check the timers. I gotta, I gotta water shit. I just, I just gotta make all these little icons go away so I can be happy. Oh wait, no, they're back. Fuck. Well, now I gotta do this all over again. Rinse, repeat. It's actually a little bit stressful for me to be perfectly <laughs> honest. It, 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 it triggers a particular compulsion of mine that just does not fit well with this game. Um. But I, I didn't really have fun playing this game. There was a little bit of satisfaction making all those little growy, picky icons go away, but then they come back again. And I really, I really feel like this game benefits from the intention of coming back and playing it more because like I couldn't, I couldn't make myself do that. I just don't care enough about farming and like, the, the farming is well done. You, you plant your, your 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 roses or your cotton or your apples or your lettuce or whatever. You wait the requisite amount of time. If you water them, sometimes the time it requires to wait goes down, which I guess is where the multiplayer aspect comes in because you can, you know, divide and conquer. I bought some, I bought an additional plot of land. So I have huge tracts of land now. And by the end of it, I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go watch Castlevania right now. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's 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 well done. Like Ben said, if this is your jam, then you know maybe maybe this is something that you want to check out with some friends. But like, I, I I don't see this unseating something like Stardew Valley or anything like that. I'm gonna give it one share. I didn't really enjoy myself playing it. What about you, well, Pedro? Uh, last week Spooky when I said, Pedro, yes, ooh, last week when I said that the game had the uh, very scary uh possibility that uh, it would very much be like a 3d farmville well uh i'd only played like a couple of minutes of it but after basically losing two hours to it and only feeling like maybe 30 minutes had gone by i think they that milkstone accomplished the uh, milkstone studios that i tried to mash those two words together uh they accomplished their mission if, of course, their mission was to create a completely mindless time vampire about collecting virtual eggplants. Uh, the game, like everything that you see, it has just charm pouring all over it. Uh, there's like the characters were very clearly designed with that specific aesthetic in mind. Everything is exaggerated. Everything is cartoony. Uh, it's... The, the multiplayer bit, I don't really care about it, but I'm pretty sure that alone is going to draw far more people in that otherwise would have ever even taken a second glance at it. And as much as this could have been just another cynical cash grabs like, oh, Farmville was popular, let's do something like that. Ho, ho, ho. No, they actually put the work in and it is, if you're of that particular mindset, it is a very satisfying game. It may be a hard sell at 15 pounds over here, but if Farmville had you spending far more time than uh, you should have uh, on Facebook back in the day, then you're probably going to like this one too. And I did. Three chairs. <laughs> All right. Well, Pedro is addicted to farming. But out of curiosity, <laughs> what'd you guys name your farms? I called mine Drug Farm. Uh, worm Fister. I called it Things in Portuguese. <laughs> Which is whoa, one of, these things, uh, <laughs> one of these things is yeah. not like the other. <laughs> one of on. these things just doesn't before, belong. before we get out of here. Uh, is there like a Portuguese phrase for like a donkey standing in the middle of a bridge? Not that I'm aware of. You Can fail you at being up? Portuguese. Quit planning stuff. <laughs> uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, coming up next, we got one little bit of hate mail for you, and then we're gonna cruise out of here. And by that time, I will have aged 1,000 years. Spooky. Spooky. No more spooky games. It's the end of October, and it's the end of the show. Now yeah. we just have Pedro's face. Ah, it's eh, terrifying. Yeah, I guess. It's, yeah, I guess that is kind of spooky. Scar it's the scariest <laughs> thing in this entire episode. <laughs> But hey, if you'd like to let me know how scary my face is and totally not boost my ego, you guys, no, not at all, you can do so by going to LinuxGameCast.com, hitting the contact button, and filling out the form. Make sure to pick LGC Weekly from the little choosy box, and we will be more than happy to feature your message right here, right now. If you're a game developer, you'd like to send us some games, be sure to uh, include three keys or use the Steam Curator Connect. Just send us three keys as well. Don't send two. Oh, I'm really blown out now. Nope, not anymore. Uh, 
Every time he says a word, the lighting changes. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's oh, that actually this looks a... good. It gets rid of all the imperfections on my face. That, no, that, that, that? That, 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 that's straight up what we need to do. We need to set up like a clapper for like Pedro's giggles that like fucks with this video. That'd be good. Anyways, oh shit, yeah, I got the microphone. That took a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, my Pedro, microphone is covered in bugs. In, in any case, yeah, uh, send us three keys or a build that we can share amongst all of us. If you would like to say, ask Jordan about his relationship advice, uh, you can. Uh, there's also a category for that. If you just like to get in touch about things and stuff, there's the other category for that as well. Hey, also, beautiful the people, we actually live for that Wednesday feedback. show. Scream in our direction. Yeah. If you have some questions, that's awesome. Maybe we got something right or something you just like to hear discussed on the show or disgusting on the show. We can do both. Guaranteed. Like Pedro's face. Hey, Rick. I mean, that's already here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Rick has a question. He's talking about uh, cards. He says, is it worth upgrading my 970 now or should I wait for Black Friday? AMD, NVIDIA, 10X, 20X, Navi. It's fucking confusing. Hello from Minnesota, Rick. Do Minnesotans say A? That sounds like a Minnesotan a. thing. Yeah, <laughs> Min Minnesota is kind of like Canada light in the U.S. Mennonites. I think that's for Minnesotans. Isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> do they taste different? <laughs> do, do, do do Mennonites taste like Vegemite? Question of the day. Send us some hate mail. Okay. <laughs> Further yeah. research. Must be done. <laughs> uh, um, should should, should upgrading the 970? Hmm. Yes. Uh, worth waiting for Black Friday? Also, yes, just wait for Black Friday, get whatever it is you're buying for cheap. As for what you should get, if you have the money, the 2080 Ti is the best one right now, but... Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb, I'm going, Pedro, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say somebody who got a 970. Mm -hmm. Probably not gonna spring for 2080. No, 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 no. The, well, and, oh, you're just saying words. Got it. it no, so, I'm so, saying so, if you have so, the money for it. <laughs> so, so here, here, here's the thing. We were, we were talking about this. I don't remember if this was in the pre-show or if this was in like the in-between segments. We were talking about um, potentially the the 2060 coming out. So that might be yeah. that might be something you want to wait for. There as are well. um, as somebody we were talking about in the pre-pre super shows, and I was like, oh, lovely, my 980s starting to die. Yay! Mm -hmm. And it's also <laughs> guess what? A horrible. I'm sorry, Rick. It is a the worst fucking possible time in the history of fuck you because that's why to be in the market to buy a video card because shit's fucked yo because the yeah okay go ahead i i, I no, got to talk that, for i was full just minute. going to say that was a dip didn't stop uh, him, did he? still going. <laughs> uh there was a dip at the end of august that was like the time to buy a gpu but no, now pedro it's i bad. didn't tell everybody <laughs> that and strider corrected me and said video card prices never go down <laughs> ever until they do <laughs> eventually <laughs> here's what we're looking at like on the board right now like if okay here, here's a thought experiment uh if my 980 all right pedro if your 10 1080 died what would you do for backup what would you get? Well, I, uh, I'd use the 750 ti for a little bit and mm -hmm. buy uh i don't know Maybe another 1080? Jordan? Yeah, just a cheaper 1080. I like, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, I, I was trying to come up with a, the response, but I think literally if my 1080 Ti died, I'd probably curl up in a ball and cry for a little bit. <laughs> that would be my response. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, like that, and what, 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 once that's done, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I take a look at a 2080 or something like that. Um, here, here, here's the thing. Um, if you're, if you need one right now, and if you're in, if you have a budget, one of the six gig 1060s is a very solid card. It will last you for a good long while. Um, if you have the money to spend, maybe look at getting like a 1080 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the, here, the thing, the thing with waiting about waiting for video cards is that it's not, it's never a good a deal as you think it will be. It won't be, but I'm going to say like right now, cause I, I, after sorting through the fan issues and looking at part numbers and shit like that, I, this, this is an exercise I'm not too far removed from, but mm -hmm. the, <clears throat> like I would think. Under unless you absolutely have to, like right now, if my ninety like went tits up after show, I'd shove a seven seventy in there and ride this shit out until at least after Christmas. Oh yeah, because I'd, I'd probably, I'd probably already, put the nine eighty. Uh, there we go. 
what we're dealing with right right now is uh <laughs> I, I need to get a few words in, gentlemen. Is uh there's already been like leaks of I'm not really gonna keep you muted, or am I? <laughs> uh t- 2060 showing up. And those in the benchmarks are showing like the same speeds as the 1070 TIs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which I think like currently right now is like the sweet spot. But if you want the sweet spot, like with better financing at 2070, like buying a 2080 right now makes no fucking sense whatsoever. No, no but bragging the, rights, but, perfectly yeah. valid reason. I will <laughs> never judge anybody for bragging rights. Cause the only reason I bought a 980 is cause Pedro had a 970. <laughs> 970 was my speed of card because I don't like spending a ton of money on video cards. Pidge was like, I got a 970. I was like, fuck. All right, 200 more. I, I, I had the desire to throw another 4K monitor or another UHD monitor in this mix, which is why I got the 1080 Ti. But like, like I was saying, though, uh, wait, waiting is always a tricky proposition because sometimes you get things like, oh, well, I waited for the 2080 and it costs the 2080 Ti. It costs more than the 1080 Ti and you're not really getting that much of a performance delta. So you know, honestly... Like one of the crazy theories I heard, man? Well, what was that? Tell me what you think about this is, you know, of course they put the aluminum hats on. Um, they're like, what's up? Well, like, cause the 2080 pricing is fucking ludicrous. Yes. Mm-hmm. It just is. It, it was supposed to be a uh, dollar. It, it was, it was supposed to be like the 1080 killer and it was supposed to be marked at like 600 bucks or something. Right. right. And it, what if NVIDIA basically said, cause you know, they ramped the fuck out of production for crypto. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're sitting on a lot of 10 series fucking cards right now. And they're like, shit, we got to sell these things. How about we jack up the price on this 2080 to make the 10 series look a lot more appealing? Maybe. And uh, I, I actually, uh, Strider, Strider brings up uh, a good point. Uh, as if you want to go with the AMD route, mm-hmm. uh, RX 580s are going on sale for pretty cheap now. And if you yeah. can pick one up, if you can pick one up on sale or used, mm-hmm. that's a solid thing to tide you over for a while. Plus, you get to fuck around with all the neat open source graphics stuff. You definitely get a lot of toys. To, I mean, if that's your thing, understand that you're going to be playing with the latest and greatest curdles, and shit can get and fucking. Yeah, B- building I definitely your own said, from get, Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I can find a like Vega sixty four for, I mean, used that served its dues in the mines, <laughs> it probably doesn't have too much <laughs> for like three fifty. I'll jump on that and swap it out, but wait, wait until after Christmas. Cause you know, AMD is even like, there's something they're going to release something else before Christmas. We just don't know what it is. Yeah. And it's uh wait for the big sales. If you can find a really good black Friday deal on uh 1070 or 1070 TI. Oh yes. By all means upgrade, but or, or the, 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 other, the other evil tip I give people is wait for exam season to end because pissed off parents will throw out their kids' uh, gaming systems for dirt cheap and you can just pick them up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is true. Um, hey, that's our sage wisdom because I think on that bombshell, how about we cue the music? You can always find us around 9.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. Uh, that's where this nonsense starts. I think maybe... No, I'm not even going to say it, because if I say it, it'll never happen. Hi, Frank. <laughs> Frank's fine. He's brilliant. Hi. I finally got the motherfucker out of the basement. I can't tell you what he was into down there. Let's just say the DEA might have been involved, but everything's cleared up now. You can find me at Vin Stone on Twitter. I'm there. I'm on Mastodon, probably at Old Man Vin or something like that. Mast.LinuxGameCast. Dot com, just as hot as it sounds. I'm Jordan Swung, and in celebration of my 29th birthday, I'll be putting on a Sailor Moon costume, noodling on a flute, and shouting profanities at people. You can take a look at that on Twitter at the Burning Fool. So for now, Google Plus at Plus Jordan Swung and at Frojo at our Mastodon at Mastodon.LinuxGameCast.com. Hey, you finally yes. remembered to add me as a friend. Mastodon is uh, it's a thing. It's I'm there. You can find me uh, at an accounted four with the actual number four at the end, or on Twitter, as you can see right down there, with the uh, F O U R. Unaccounted Fur. Uh, yes. Unaccount- unaccounted Fur. <laughs> as I said earlier, that Saturdays is not the time for that. Uh, I am Pedro Mateos. It was a pleasure, and I will see you next week. That's so I was like, okay, now no, we have... When is the right time, Pedro, then? When? At the Burning Fuhrer, then we have an un- Unaccounted Fuhrer. And then, <laughs> and, 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 and then at Ben Schiffenstaffel. Yeah. We're going to roll some credits, because you're awesome. 
and it's your name in lights. Boom. How do you get Frank? inside Frank? Is it like is it a Lemmy Wink situation or <laughs> You would think that it actually involves Velcro. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Frank is a skeleton. There's a lot of space in between those ribs. Yeah, um, <laughs> they prefer bone kin. <laughs> I, I, I mean, listen, the moral of the story here is that thin isn't beautiful. If you're going to starve yourself, make yourself as skinny as Frank, don't do it. No. Yeah. Well, actually, do it. What, what do I care? I'm not your mom. Take pictures. <laughs> It'll be brilliant. <laughs> make sure to try and play the xylophone like they do in cartoons. Ah, uh, when, when you hit that rib twice, it produced a different note the second time. Oh, <laughs> El- Linux Gamecast Weekly. A wizard did it. <laughs> Something did it. Not Always blame sure the why. wizard. Safe bet, man. The, the Washington Safe Wizards, yeah. Fucking bet. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, my man. He's in all the crazy places. All right, that's gonna do it. We'll see you next week. We love you, kinda, a little bit. I love Bitch. you. Bitch. Bye. Five dudes. <laughs>